Hi, Andrew. Thanks for joining me this morning to talk about the new OM system kit. Now, you've been given exclusive access to this kit, so we'd like to talk a little bit about the camera and lens. But before we do that, can you give us a bit of an introduction of who you are and the sort of photography that you do? Sure. Um, I've been a photographer for 11 years now. It's a second career after being a children's author. And um, I, uh, I love wildlife. I love birds. I love butterflies. I like action. So I find the pro capture has been astonishing uh, through the last five years for me capturing uh, birds in fight and flight. Uh, and, um, and I love the moon and I love sunset and I love dragonflies and landscape. I love the lot, basically. And my OM uh, kit uh, helps me a lot to get some beautiful photos. Fantastic. So you're, you do a lot of landscape stuff as well. You're based in Shropshire. I'm based in Shropshire. We've got the Longmen. We've got the uh, Stiper Stones. So there's just um, really, I suppose, my shtick, as it were, or my mission is to say, look at what's under your noses. Yeah. Great, go to Africa if you want to, but there's a lot of stuff around you. Look for it, work on it, photograph it. And it is it is interesting that my Shropshire photos have been endlessly appearing in the national papers, on the covers of national papers and magazines. So it's a real celebration of what we have uh, here in the UK. That's amazing. Great stuff. So as I said, you've been given exclusive access to some new OM system kit. Why don't we kick off by talking about the camera first, which is the OM1 Mark II. What are your thoughts on the camera and how has it impacted your photography? Well, I want to start with the smallest thing, because for me, it's probably one of the most important. And there was a lot of concern, not concern, but the, the dials on the OM1 were just a little bit I don't know when you've got gloves on they're quite hard to I, I'm often changing stuff very uh, quickly in the field changing exposure compensations changing shutter speed um, and they rubberize the dials whatever that means uh, all I can tell you is it's grippier I can use them with gloves so that is pretty much the only physical manifestation but what's under the hood becomes far more uh, interesting for me there's a couple of really major things uh, and one is they've seemed to have rebuilt the algorithms for uh, bird detection you can't now put tracking and bird detection together it's just one thing which is bird detection which i think it simplifies matters a lot it's stickier it wants to get to the eye of the bird it works in in low light i'm only speaking by results i would say 15 20 percent difference which is huge actually yeah so autofocus is on a on another level buffer is 2.3 times larger which helps when you work with pro capture which i do all the time and you're doing massive bursts of 90 photos at a time um and then the smaller one which i haven't had a chance to try uh, uh, much very at the moment is they've got inbuilt graduated uh, digital filter and it's re and i've played with it it's really incredible so i think these for me are, are significant enough uh, that I'm I'm going to be shooting with these bodies this year. Fantastic. I mean, let's just go back to that first point you mentioned about uh, the rubberized dials. And it seems to me, as an outsider, that um, this has all come from photographer feedback. It seems that the R&D people at OM System have listened yeah. to the photographers and made changes that are going to make a real difference out in the field. Yeah, exactly so. Um, and it was a revelation to be out photographing uh, wax wings, look at the shot, uh, with this and with the amazing new lens and I've got my gloves on because it's freezing yeah. and I make and of course the moment you're shooting up towards the sky you've got to change exposure compensation so obviously I shoot shutter priority I need to do that very very fast um, and it, it, what what it feels like I'm um, not what it feels like the evidence to me is it's these things are now easier to manipulate and and uh, I'm really and I just for me that's quite an important difference and it's interesting the fact that you mentioned the uh, autofocus is stickier as that had a, a genuine um, uplift on your hit rate you're getting more images in focus and perhaps you're able to capture images that you maybe previously couldn't my keeper rate is um, I'm, I mean people are saying 10 20 percent but I would say my keeper rate is actually much higher than that and there's a couple of interesting things that go that go, that are going on there. If you look at some of the low light images, like the rainbow bird, where the where the where the the sunrise is literally refracting through the the feathers of a of a blue tit or, or a green finch, uh, these shots are at minus three to minus three point seven exposure comp. I'm shooting in darkness. It's picking the bird up as the bird takes off. Uh, what more proof do you, do you want that there's something good going on there? I can't compare it to other systems. I don't shoot other systems, but I can compare it to the OM1, which is already very, very good. And this is with some steroids, possibly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's talk about the lens now, because obviously OM System have also launched the 150 to 600 mil f5 to 6.3 is lens how did you find this lens because obviously it offers a huge focal length so this is the first for micro four thirds in that sense i think it is actually groundbreaking uh, there are other 150 600 lenses out there but this is um with uh, uh, the micro four thirds it's engineered for micro four thirds and it's th the reach is crazy people say oh you shouldn't use equivalents i'm sorry it is equivalent and it's equivalent at the long end of tw of a 1200 mil lens at f6.3 which in anybody's book and people always worry about the weight of these bigger lenses and there's a slight weight gain from the 150 400 but i measured it it's under 200 grams well under 200 grams that's not a lot really no. it's like 2.5 2.1 kilograms or something so it feels a bit heavier but i can handhold this all, all day with uh with no issue it's the reach it's the yeah. reach um uh, and 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 you then you've got to worry about it because if you've got things far away you're going to get some diffraction of course because you're really pushing the boundaries of physics but if you've got a bird at the top of the tree and you want to get in close and before you were just having a very cropped photo with with the reach that you had and bear in mind these take extenders as well so I just find that, you know, I, that, as I said, that shot of the wax wings and the second wax wing coming in, autofocus very fast, um, and I'm not needed to crop it that much. And those birds were a long way away. So versatility for birds, for for mammals, for shy mammals, for badgers, um, is, is going to be, or you go to Africa, is going to be really, really useful as an all-in-one package. Well, that was going to be my next question, actually. There's two things going on here. A new camera with upgraded uh, features, but also a groundbreaking new lens. How will those as a combination affect your photography? Well, I I just think, it. I mean, Zoom is really good. I used to shoot primes back in the day. And Zoom is very, very useful because if you're by the lake and there's a Bowick swan or a whooper swan and it suddenly takes off. That's a big or a great, a, a great white egret. That's a big wingspan. You need to be able to move quickly and zoom quickly. And then if you've got a very shy little egret, which we have at our local lake, you want to get in as close as possible, which takes the 600. So it means that in shy situations and distant situations, you're in with the chance, or let's say distant um, uh, hawk of some sort, uh, or a distant red kite, you're going to get that extra reach is going to make a hell of a difference. Um, uh, so native 600, I think, is 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 a game changer. Zoom is a game changer, uh, and I think there's a lot of people and price as well. Let's let's not forget this is not this is not 150 400 price level. And considering it's um we wouldn't call it a budget lens, but it's not on the pro level. I found it to be very sharp, wide open, which is you don't want to be shooting f8 or f9. You want you want to shoot wide open to get as much light as possible. So all in all, I think this is going to be a bit, you know, and I'm just sharing my personal opinion. It's going to sell like hotcakes, really. Amazing. Great stuff. So fantastic. You've got some excellent new kit to play with. What are you going to be doing next? What's on, on the list with you with this new kit? Well, I think um, uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm because of the stickier AF, I'm going to do a lot of more work with small birds. I think there's some really interesting potential there <clears throat> to capture moments um uh, and then i have used this om the om1 mark ii with the 150 400 and that is is killer it's killer so i i think i find that really interesting I, i'm also keen to start doing some big moon and big sunset shots because you, i mean you to get that amount of reach and put that on the moon as it sets or rises and with a nice foreground don't just shoot the moon first it's a bit boring get work on your foregrounds not composites do the work um, this has uh, massive or city shots, you know, uh, compressed landscapes. There's a lot that one can do with this. And I think it's very exciting. And I think there was a gap for OM system. And I think they've very cleverly filled that gap between 100, 400 and the 150, 400. And this sits in the middle, though, of course, it has the longest reach. So I think uh, potential wise, uh, I'm quite excited. I've had it since mid-December, uh, the combo. Um, and I've used all sorts of combinations, used the body with other lenses, used the, used the lens with this body. Uh, and I've got some really good results so far and hopefully I'll get some more time shooting with it. Fantastic. Well, enjoy using the new kit and good luck with your, uh, your other projects. And thank you for joining us.